what's on the agenda today? Oh no, why am I feeling so much wetness? Ugh, looks like one of your pens must have leaked black ink all over your stuff, Amy. Ew, so gross, right? But maybe your stuff isn't completely ruined. Yep, that's the look of a light bulb going off. Want to give your pens and pencils a little color? Fill a large container with water and your favorite colored nail polish. Go ahead and dump the polish into the water. Once you do that, feel free to add even more colors, randomly dispersing it. Now take your pencil and slowly dip it into the liquid and lift it right back out the same way. You can do this as many times as you like and can experiment with different colors. Wow, where did you get pencils like that? Want to use one? Thanks, Amy! Way to turn lemons into lemonade, girl. This is totally my favorite class! It's important for the pizza to be round! Of course! Round pizza! Genius! The toppings must be fresh, of course! Fresh toppings are what makes fresh pizza! See for yourself! Whoa! Pizza! This is the best class ever! Oh, pizza, I love you! Huh? What happened to my pizza? No, it was just a dream! Wait, is Jake eating his eraser? Maybe I'm still dreaming. I better take a closer look. Looks like a regular eraser to me. Works like a regular eraser too. Jake, how did you eat your eraser? <sighs> Only one end is an actual eraser. The other end is candy. The other end is candy? It is candy! Marshmallow! It's easy to make too. Just take your eraser and push it through. Then you'll need a marshmallow. It fits right in and looks like an eraser! Yes! Marshmallows in every class! Marshmallows all day long! Man, all this test taking really makes me work up an appetite. Aha! A little sugar jolt is exactly what I need right now. Which one should I eat first? Huh? Ugh, fine, you can have them back. Ugh, I don't think I can wait till lunch to eat. Behold, more delicious chocolate! Jeez, what's a girl gotta do to get a moment alone with a sweet treat around here? Wait a minute. I know exactly what I should do. Put one of your binders onto your desk and open the metal rings. Take a clear sleeve and assemble it onto the rings. Poke it through if you have to. Now stash your favorite treats into the clear sleeve. Now you have your very own secret stash. Is the coast clear? Time to indulge in a secret snack. Nothing to see here, people. Um, shouldn't you guys be focusing on your work? Way to play it cool, Lily. Time to reward yourself for a job well done. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Pause the lecture for a second. Amy's about to blow an epic bubble. Ugh, oh, false alarm. Uh-oh, teacher alert. Mind if I take a look at your notes, Amy? Wow, look how messy and unkempt your notebook pages are. How does this even happen anyway? What a shame. What about your notebook, Lily? Why, it's just as perfect as you, isn't it? A plus as usual. Hey, how do you keep your notebook so neat like that? Looks like we have a nifty paper hack on our hands. Wanna drop some knowledge on us, Lily? You can make your own page protector at home. Simply fold a square of paper in hand, matching corner to corner like this. Keeping the paper folded, take one corner and match it with the one up top. Do the same thing to the other side. Once you solidify the creases, unfold the corners. Match the top corner to the bottom and press down the fold. Next, tuck each corner into the pocket you've just made. 
Be sure the edges are tucked all the way in, as deep as possible. Turn the piece upside down so the folded part is farthest away from you. On the first folded corner, draw a shape that looks like a closed eye with lashes. With different colored paper, create fringe and glue it on the fold, like so. Add the sparkly horn and you've got yourself a paper unicorn. Now you can keep the pages from your books and folders from curling! So cute! Thanks for the great tip, Lily! We all know that sound! Rise and shine, Kevin! It's time to wake up! No, don't hit the snooze button! You've got a class to get to! Uh-oh. Kevin has officially entered the dangerous snooze cycle. Yep, he's a goner for sure. Psst! Kevin! You've gotta get up, dude! Ah, oh, man. That was such a great sleep. Nothing can ruin the feeling of waking up feeling completely refreshed and well-rested. Except for when you realize you've slept through the first two classes of your day. If I sneak in really quietly, maybe the teacher won't even notice I'm late. Whew, that was a close one. But I have no idea what the teacher's talking about. Wondering how to break your snooze habit? Ugh, I wish this thing didn't have so much power over me. Perhaps it's time I take the power back. If you have a regular old alarm clock, like Kevin here, you'll want to make it impossible to hit the snooze button. Get a bunch of pushpins and line them up on the buttons of your alarm. Tape them all down by piercing them through a long piece of tape. Ouch! Let's hope this does the trick. Sleep tight, Kevin. Kevin, no! The pins! By golly, it actually worked! Well, look who's the first person in class. Hey, Kevin. What are you doing here? What? Surprised to see you here this early. Turns out I'm more of a morning person than I thought. Looks like Kevin is doing just about anything in his room other than his homework. Kevin, what are you doing in here? Gah! You'd better start doing some homework, young man. Well, looks like the fun's over, Kevin. Time to buckle down and get to work. It seems my job is done here. But while mom's away, Kevin will play. Watching videos in your room is great and all, but you have to make sure you have an escape plan. Stick one of those plastic hooks on the top corner of the door, facing downward. Then add another one slightly above it to the wall like this. Then hook a bungee cord, knot it on the first hook, and string it through the second one. Then string it to the other side of the door, where you'll put another hook. Once it's on that hook, attach the end of the cord to the back of your phone, like so. So the next time you're watching videos instead of doing your homework, and get a surprise visit from mom, you don't ever have to worry about getting caught red-handed. Hmm, looks like Kevin really is doing his homework for once. I never thought the day would come, but he really does listen to me. And just like that, you can get back to doing what you really want to do. Watch car chase videos for an hour. Sweet! Finally, the last class of the day. Okay, let's get situated here. I'll definitely need all these. Gah, I should have known that would happen. Oh no. Here comes Amy. Hey, watch out, girl! Oh man. There she goes. Jeez! What are you trying to do? Kill me or something? I didn't mean to, I swear. <sighs> it's alright. In fact, I think I know how to solve this problem. Have an empty bottle lying around? Take a blade and cut the bottle open just below the neck. Be sure to watch those hands. Next, take a freestanding zipper and unzip it about halfway down. On one strip of the fabric, put a line of hot glue. But be careful not to get it on your fingers. Before it dries, press the fabric with glue against the inside of the bottom half of the bottle you already cut. Now take your pens and markers and stick them right inside the makeshift pencil case. Those puppies are safe and sound now. Need to borrow a marker, Lily? Aw, so sweet! Thank you! Why buy an expensive case at the store when you can make one as cute as this one right at home? Hey, 
Kevin. Looks like Amy made it to class by the skin of her teeth. She's nearly ten minutes late. What's Kevin working on over there? Wait, today's not… circle day, is it? Oh no, I totally forgot to bring my tools! Come on, I've gotta have something! Perhaps these markers could save the day. To make your own compass, put your finger in place on a piece of paper as you draw around it with your hand. If you hold things steadily enough, you can get a perfect circle. Yes! This looks amazing! You never guessed this was a freehand circle, would you? Whoa. Even the teacher is fooled. Hello, class. Today, I want you to draw the sun. Yes, sir! I can't wait! <gasps> what? Oh no! I brought the wrong case into class! Dang it! They're just my markers! Hmm… Oh well, I can draw a circle anyways. Oh… Uh, uh, stupid circle! <laughs> you thought you could draw a circle like that? <laughs> How silly of you! Now for my special tools! Aha! Uh -huh. My precious compass! And my favorite pencil! A perfect match! <laughs> Watch this! See? The perfect circle! Whoa, that's amazing! Can I borrow it? My precious? No way! Huh? That's not fair! I want to draw a perfect circle too! What can I do? Hmm… If I use this with a little bit of this and a touch of that… Eureka! I've got it! My hand! My hand can be my compass! Genius! I'll just place my hand on the paper and hold my pen. Then I'll just turn the paper around and keep my hand very still. Just like this. It's working! Yes! A perfect circle! <laughs> yes! Now to add the final parts to my sun. Hmm… Time's almost up. A few more lines here… and here… Time's up! Let's see those pictures, class. Yes, sir! Ta-da! Just like yours, sir! All finished! Both are really good, but we have a clear winner. Well done, Mandy! Huh? How did you… <laughs> Yay! Thank you, sir! Everyone who's ever taken art class knows learning how to draw a perfect circle is a must. Unfortunately, it takes quite a bit of patience. Nicely done, Teach! Hey, Lily. How are your circles looking? Uh-oh. That's not the face of confidence. Yikes. Those circles are pretty far from perfect. Sorry, Lily. Don't freak out, girl. There's got to be an easier way. Anyone in here have some rubber bands or something? Oh! I can use one of Lana's hair ties! If you have a couple pencils and a rubber band, you can make yourself your very own drafting compass. Just take two pencils and attach them at the top tightly with a rubber band or hair elastic like this. Now take a third pencil and put it across the bottom too. It should look like the letter A. Take two more rubber bands and attach the third pencil to the other two like so. Don't forget the other side. There you go. Pretty nifty, huh? Now you can draw circles with ease. Wow, that one's pretty darn perfect. And you can adjust the width of your pencils for bigger or smaller circles. Hey, where'd all my hair ties go? Lily, why do I have a feeling you're behind all this? Don't be mad! Look at my perfect circles! It's always something with you, isn't it, Lily? <sighs> I knew I left my socks here. There we go. Uh, where's the mate? It couldn't have gone that far, right? Why are these things so hard to keep track of? It has to be in here somewhere. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Huh? Seriously? At least they're the same color, right? But they may be more similar than I thought. Turn your ankle sock into a tennis sock in seconds. Pull it down and tuck it under your heel like this. Keep going until you get to your toes. Tuck it under and pull it back over your heel. Now it looks just like the other one. Who needs matching socks when you have brains? And you never even know they weren't a pair. Oh! 
All right, class. Time to hand in your homework. Yes, sir. <gasps> what? What happened? Oh no! It's ruined. What am I going to do? Whoa! Look at that. <sighs> Perfect. Huh. Good. Matthew, please bring your homework up. Yes, sir. No problem at all. Uh, what am I going to do? It's all right. I got this. I'll just flatten it out. Mandy, can you bring yours up now, please? Yes, sir. Oh, maybe he won't notice. Uh, here you go, sir. Let's see. What has happened to this? Oh, no. Here, take this mess away. Oh, <laughs> More tissue. Huh? No more? Wait a minute. Aha! Uh -huh. This gives me a brilliant idea. First, I need the empty tube. A pair of scissors will help me out. I'll just cut up the middle here. Now for the best part. Decorating! There! The perfect homework holder. It looks amazing! If I don't say so myself, of course. <laughs> Here you go, sir. My homework. Hmm, about time. Oh, oh, look at this. It looks so pretty. Thank you, sir. Phew! I just love stickers, too. And look at this. The homework is perfect. Well done. I am going to give it a big A+. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Make sure that the rest of your homework comes like that. Oh, okay, I get it. Yep, yep, makes sense to me. Just chewing on my drawstring, no big deal. Hmm, is Jake eating food? I need a closer look. It looks like his drawstring. Wait. What's this over here? That's not a drawstring. Jake, no candy in class! Fine. Sorry. Now what? I'm still hungry. Oh, I think I'm getting an idea. Just gonna take a sip of water. Oh, this water is so delicious. I mean, refreshing. Jake? I can see you! You can't eat a candy from your tumbler, either! Okay, fine. Seriously, just get back to work. Hmm. He's always chewing on that pen. That gives me an idea. All right, candy time! I'll take this cap off my highlighter. And then remove the whole ink part. Can't forget the tip. Huh. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Can't forget to clean it. Next step, candy time! Just gonna slide all the candy into the marker. It's a perfect fit! Time to put the end back on. It's good to go! Nice! A candy marker! Mmm, it tastes so good! I could eat this all day! Jake! What are you eating? I'm not eating. Just chewing on this marker. Like you! Oh. I guess that's okay. Fine! Okay. I can't believe it worked! Wow, that skateboarder totally ate it. Oops, sorry teach, I'll put it away. Looks like you'll have to save the rest of that video for after school. Unless… I have the best idea! Amy? Mind if we do the old phone watching trick we practiced? Next time you need to watch a video in class, try getting some help from the person in front of you. Simply put the phone case underneath your friend's shirt like this. Now stick your phone in the case with the shirt still in between. Be sure to make sure it's in tight. Hey, what was that? Ugh, seriously, Kevin? 
Don't forget, your friend is still attached to that thing. Better make sure the volume is off on that thing, or you'll definitely give yourself away. Kevin? What are you doing back there? I'd better go see what's going on. Quick! Hide the evidence! Oh! Hey, Mrs. Appleby! What brings you to this side of the classroom? Phew, that could have been really bad. Okay, Amy, we're in the clear. Jennifer, is this blue shirt cuter than the red? Hmm, the red for sure. Your shoe's untied, by the way. Oh man. Grr, this thing never stays tied. There, all fixed. Uh, Kate? Your laces. Huh? You've gotta be kidding me! That's it. I'm switching to Velcro shoes from now on. No matter how I tie these, they come undone instantly. Perhaps a new kind of knot is in order. Whoa! Check out that handiwork! Once you tie the initial knot, take these two pieces through the hole. Now cross them and pull them taut with the other pieces. They're almost like double bunny ears. Those laces aren't untying anytime soon. Ugh, what a day. Is it really that bad? And F? Oh no! Mom is going to be so mad! You better pass that test or else you're failing math, English, fail one more test and you're going to be in big trouble, mister! No way! There's gotta be some way to fix this! Nope, this won't work. Aha! Uh -huh, an eraser will do it! I'll just remove the F! Didn't work. Nah. Yes, a red marker! Oops! Uh-oh, not good. Wait a minute! It's erased the marker! That'll do nicely! <laughs> a bit of this with one of these. Let's do this! Erasing time! I'll just rub this all over here and there and… Just like magic, the F is disappearing! Now for the final touch! <sighs> Perfect! Oh! Uh, hi, mom! Hello, dear. Oh, your test paper. Let me see here. Hmm… So, what do you think, mom? My… Baby boy is a genius! I'm so proud of you! Exercise is important! Oh, yes. Oh, I'm tired and I hate this! Yes! Good job at working hard! Yay! Fitness! <laughs> now for some squats! <laughs> Excellent squat for Madison! Now for sit-ups! One! Two! What is this? No sit-ups? Alright, back on your feet! You need to take your fitness more seriously! Sorry! Wait, I have an idea! I'm back with this fitness tank! I'm ready to take my fitness seriously! Oh wow! Look how fit your abs are! That is impressive fitness, Madison! <laughs> my abs are actually candy! Mmm, working out is delicious! Chocolate is a much better workout! Yep! Working hard! Luna! <gasps> Don't do that! Hi! Okay, come on over. I have some homework to do, okay? Okay! I'm gonna draw! That's good. Wow, what a pretty drawing! It's a house! I'm almost done! So am I! 
Look, Luna! What are you doing? Uh-oh! Uh, it wasn't me! It's all over my books! Sorry! It's pretty, though! It's ruined! Look at it! What am I gonna do? Wait, this ink might be useful. Looks like it's time to cover up some creative artwork. First, place paper on the notebook. Then use pens to create patterns on the paper. Use different colors for a more vibrant effect. Looks good, but we're not finished. Next, take a plastic bag. And pour in the ink. Be careful not to spill any. Once that's done, seal the bag and place the bag on the notebook. Then spread out the ink. Take some felt and cut out a border for the notebook. Stick it to the notebook and have fun! It's a great way to pass time when you're bored. What a great idea! I'm not doing anything, promise! Hey, it's okay! Look! Is it for me? Yeah, of course! Woo! This is fun! Phew! Look at this! I'm making pretty shapes! Thanks, Luna! Ah, what a great sleep! What time is it? Oh no! I'm late for school! I need to hurry! I'll grab some clothes! Woo! I might have too many clothes. Ugh, my head. At least I saved time. Morning, mom! Have some breakfast. What are you wearing? Huh? Sorry, mom. Need to go. What a strange girl. Oh no! Not again! I can't do this every day! Morning! Gotta go, mom! What is she wearing? That girl needs to dress better. This room is a mess! There are clothes everywhere! Do I have to do everything? Although, I do have a great idea. I'll take these clothes out. And hang this clothes organizer. Things are neater already! An outfit for every day. There, mom does it again! Wakey, wakey! It's time for school! What? I was having a great dream! It's time to get dressed! Ta-da! Come on! Fine, I'm up. Look! It's all neat and tidy! Wow, mom! I can see all my clothes! And it's organized into outfits! What a great idea! This looks pretty good! Oh no! The time! You're so silly! Have a great day! Thanks, mom! You're the best! 